everyone this is Nancy and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making a granny triangle just like this um, you will need to know how to do um, chain stitches and a double crochet I'm going to be using the H hook by Susan Bates with that bamboo handle and the yarn I'm using is I love this cotton by Hobby Lobby and turquoise Okay, let's get started. First, you're going to do a slip stitch. Bring it under. And you're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And in the first chain, um, the fourth chain from the hook one two three four you're going to do two double crochets so with the chain three you have one two three that'd be the first set then you chain two and the same hole that you did the other two um, double crochets you do three double crochets one two and three oops three so now you have two sets of threes and one chain space Okay, chain two again, same hole, three double crochets, one, two, three. So you got two, so one, two, and three. So you're going to chain one and two, and we're going to slip stitch on the third chain that we did at the beginning slip stitch that so you have one two three see the little triangle forming now we're going to chain three again two three and turn it in that space two double crochets one two chain two so you could this chain here becomes the the first post one two three and in the same hole you do three double crochets one two three We got one corner here. Two double crochet, I mean, excuse me, two chains. And in the next hole, three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain two, and in the same hole. Do three double crochets again. One, two, three. Chain two. Next hole, three double crochet. One, two, three. chain two and three double crochet in the same hole one two three chain two and we'll slip stitch to the first one over here we got one two three so you slip stitch into here oops 
Got a little tight in there. Slip stitch. So now you have the form, the start of your triangle. See it? Oh. Let's do another row. Chain three. Turn it. And we're going to do two double crochets in here. Since this is a side, you only do one set of, of three in there. In the corners, you do two sets. And on the sides, you do just one. Chain two again. Three double crochet. Get some slack here. So that was one, two, three. Chain two. Same hole. One, two. Three. Oops. That's your corner again. We're going into the side, so you only need to do three in the side. One, two, three. Chain two. Corner, so you need two sets of three in that corner. So one, two, three, chain two, corner again. So one, two. And three chain two another side so you only need to do one in that hole one two three chain two going back to a corner so you need to do two sets of three one Two, three, chain two, back to the corner, one, two, three, more slack, should have done that at the beginning, there we go, sorry. Uh, corner so we need to chain two and we're going to slip stitch at the top here of the chain that we did at the beginning and slip through so now we have this size triangle so then do, we'll do two more two more rows and come back so in this these sides you only do one set of threes in the corners you do two sets of three with chain and two in, in between. Look like here, here is a side, so you do um, just one set of threes. So let me pause and I'll be back with the with the completed triangle. Here we go. Here's a completed triangle. It has it come from it for the center here. So you got one, two three four and five rows if you want to make it bigger you can continue on these sides just do three double crochets in the corners you do two sets of double crochets and you see the weird angle uh, shape that it's taking I usually take these and block them and blocking is um putting them on a board and pinning it to, to where I want the triangle to be like this and spray it with water and this is what it'll look like once it's pinned down 
Let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, right there. See, I pinned it down. I sprayed it with water. It's been drying overnight. So once you take the pins out, it keeps its shape. So when you br bring the other triangle, if, if you want to, this one will be, if you, to join it, it'll be like this. But you need to block this one first. So it keeps its shape nicely. And you can use these for pendants. I use, um, you can line them up corner to corner. And you can put a, a pendant in your baby's room. I have one that's very colorful that I use for my craft shows that I put around my tent. Um, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment. And um, wait till the next video. We'll see what we do next. Ooh.